Hey, what's up guys? So, today, this is, or this is gonna be a multiple part um, video, I guess, so I'll have different parts in it, but um, what I wanted to do is build an electric violin. So, for, for this part, um, I'm going to be building this piece for it. Um, this is for a four string violin, but, um, I wanted to make a five string violin, so I'm gonna make it out of this. Um, I forget what this is. Um, uh, yeah, oak maybe, hickory, one of those two. But I have this board and I'm going to take this design, expand it a little bit up here and make five holes instead of these four. So let's get right to it. Okay, so what I did here, I didn't record this because um, it was kind of awkward to have this tripod right here. But I basically just laid this out and I traced around it, the whole thing. And then I measured a little bit here, I'm gonna zoom in a little, oops. Um, no camera problems. Okay, yeah, so right here, I measured, that I had a line going here from this, and I measured the same distance from here to here, and here to here and I kind of made them both go in the same I didn't really use any tools for that part um, but yeah so then I drew these little holes with my ruler I kind of just measured out measured them out they're not perfect this one seems a little bit higher than the rest but I kind of wanted it in a, a V shape I don't know just Kind of for cool. This will be the C string, G string, D string, A string, and E string. Or if I can figure out how to make a string, um, I might put a B string here and have that a G string, just for coolness aspect, I guess. So um, I guess I'm gonna take this to my scroll saw which is right here. And I'll cut it out. Um, yeah, I guess, I guess I'll put this on video because it's not that much. Okay. Got to make sure it works. And here I've got the design right here. I don't know if you can see that very well because of the lighting in here, but. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna cut it out. everywhere so I'm gonna clean that up and then I'm going to get back to this Let's see if you can see it there we go I'm gonna get back to this and then I'm gonna carve just on the outside of this line because I don't want it to be directly on there because if I make a mistake and I accidentally gouge in or something because this thing isn't the most accurate um, I can easily fix that with just some tools I have sitting around. So one thing I did to help me on this, 
cutting was I made these lines here, 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 and here. Um, they're not quite perfect um, because I didn't really want to spend that much time, but it kind of gives me a better uh, chance to, you know, really make this square and then I can see all the problems I have with this and yeah. I wish I had a saw though, a table saw. That'd be very useful. But oh well. I'll I'll get to cutting this out now. started not that great I mean this isn't the worst thing that could happen but um, as you could see in the other video I cut it too far that I mean you might not be able to see it that but I cut it too far this way and then I tried to cut it more this way and then I tried to cut it even more this way but the first one already created a small curve going this way on this side so it's gonna be curved, but I can deal with that, and I think it's gonna be fine. This this part is straight, and that's what I'm very happy about. So, yep. I guess the next part is to cut this out, because I don't I don't think I can do that with the saw. So I'm gonna have to figure out some way to cut it out. I decided to do it. I took this on the chop saw. I cut it off. Again, very, very, very close to the edge, like extremely close. I'm very, very happy that it didn't go over. This side also kind of went over just a little bit, but that's also fine because that's not as important as up here, which I'm still kind of sad about. But, in general, I'm really happy with this. So, next step for me is to cut a slice off of this. I think it's gonna kind of be hard and difficult, but I'm up for the challenge. So, I'm gonna think of a way to do Okay, that. I just marked this middle. It's not the most perfect line. As you can see right there, but I'm going to see if I can cut it somehow. Well, when you finally run out of ideas, the trusty handsaw, whatever this call is called, might do the trick. I just really hope I don't get this crooked at all. Okay, well... I'll see you when I'm done. Okay, so I managed to cut it off using two different things. I used that saw and I used my scroll saw, I guess it's called. That's the way. Yeah, it could also be jigsaw. I don't know. This is my parents, so. Yeah. I might sand that down later, but I kind of want to cut this out. And then take my chisel and cut it out to look like the original tail piece, which I now can't find. Um, I'm gonna look for that. Okay. Found it. And so in the back here, we can see that there is focus right there there we go it is carved out into a round circle there there are these little lines that are going up from there I just noticed those and I need to put those I need to cut those in here soon or once I drill those I'm gonna cut that in and then on this right here it's flat and then there's another groove here where this wire thing sits in place with two little holes. So I'm gonna cut this out and then start 
shaving her way at this. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, well, we can see that that did not go as planned. These are very rough edges, and I was hoping for a little bit of a smoother one because I switched to this finer one, which has 18 and a half inches or teeth per inch. Um, oh well. I'll just start sanding this and filing it down until I get the shape I want, and then I'll start carving it away. And I might drill these holes too, so. Yep, I'm gonna be doing that now. Okay, so I've got this roughly shaped out. It's not the exact shape that I wanted, but um, yeah, so basically I'm gonna carve this out, carve that little groove out and carve that out, just like what's on this. That's down, that's down, that's down, so. I drew it kind of on here, what I think it should be. This part I'm gonna probably extend out here. And yeah, I'm gonna get going on it. Well, I broke it trying to drill it. So I guess I'm gonna do a new one. I had all this carved out and I had this bottom part carved out. Just like this one looks like. Pretty similar. I was actually very happy with the way that that turned out. But I have to make a new one. So I have one more piece or half of that board left. I'm gonna, I guess, trace this one or trace this one. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Once I get to this step, um, I'll resume back in because all I did here was I took a Dremel with a sander bit and I just kind of sanded that part out and same with here. It wasn't that difficult. But I also need to make a little lip right here that goes down and ends down. See this one kind of has it. And then on this one also the whole top is round here. Unlike this one, it's just flat. So I'm gonna make those subtle differences, but I think the rest look pretty good. So yeah, so I'll be back when that, when I can get it to the way that this is. So yeah. Okay, attempt number two is looking much better here. Um, you can see I made this just a little bit longer than, <clears throat> excuse me, I made this part a little bit longer than everything else. Um, no, I tried to make it look like this, but for some reason the lip just kind of didn't go with everything else and it just kind of disappeared except for right here. You can kind of see it here. I'm just gonna sand that out. I don't think that really matters that much. It's very thin though. Crap. Yeah, it's very thin up here. But it's looking better than my first try. Much better. Now all I need to do is take something, maybe this saw and create the little grooves for the strings. So you can see there, uh, where's this? Yeah, there's those little lines on top of the holes. I just gotta put those there on this one. Um, yeah, that should be fairly simple. I don't think you guys need to see that either. So, I'm gonna just get working on that and then uh, all I need to do is drill holes here and find string or something <coughs> that I can use to, uh, or use as this part. So yeah, see you in a couple minutes, or a couple minutes on my side. Okay, so this actually worked perfectly. I just took one of these uh, scroll saw blades and I just did it with my own hand. So I kind of put it in like, it kind of just 
almost slipped in. So we can get it in now. There we go. And then I just sawed it back and forth like this until I had the correct length. And so I think this will be perfect because they almost match up the same size as these ones on this black piece. The only difference is that these are a little bit shorter. Um, I did that just because I wanted a little bit more strength in this since there's five strings instead of four. So, <clears throat> yeah. Now off to the last part, which is drilling two small holes here and finding something like this that will fit in the back. There we go. Well, this is, I think, going to be the finished product. Um, I don't really have any good background to put it at, put this on, so, but, so you can't really see the colors really too much on camera. But this looks, actually, I really like this, and I really hope it doesn't break, because it's going to be a pain to make another, so... Down here, I kind of just pulled in some of the linseed oil um, so that I could get all the way in and all those little pockets. And I just kind of rubbed it on the sides, rubbed it on the top after I sanded it, and kind of just rubbed it everywhere. Now, one thing is this, if I can zoom it on in, Looks it. Um, it's not perfect curve. Like I was kind of hoping. That my hand was kind of shaking. Um, but you know, it's very good for my I guess second attempt. And this, I think it looks very good too. Um, let me see if I can find the original material. Now this is good enough. So this board is the original material. And I think it, it, yeah, it just brings out the grain and everything. It just makes it look a whole lot better with the linseed oil. There's a little bit extra right there. But yeah, thank, or here we go. So yeah, thanks for watching. Um, so I'm gonna be probably creating the, either the shoulder rest or chin rest first or the um the scroll next one of those two um i mean i'm not sure that'll probably be out in a week or so i hope but you know i'm not so good at that posting videos so yeah we'll see what happens um i'll do the violin last because that i need the most time to design and try to figure out a shape for it. Um, my last one, um, I kind of liked, I don't know, I might be able to put it in here. I don't know if I still have a picture of it, but um, I want to do a, a different design than what that one had, so. Oops. So, yeah. Thanks for watching my video on how I made this. I guess neck piece or end piece, same thing, on a violin, five string violin. Um, like, comment, and I like, subscribe, please. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks.